We're going to make this video. You want to be in the video? Come here. You're going to be in the video. Ugh. What did you think of the show so far? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't even really know how to feel right now. Uh, I don't... I don't even think I should be making this video. So we're halfway through the season of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I gotta tell you guys, I don't think I like it. I know everybody's on the hype train right now. Everybody I see is talking about Kenobi and how stoked they were on episode three. Oh my God, it's so amazing, the return of Vader. And I just can't seem to get into it. You know, I don't wanna make a massive negative video about, oh my God, the show is the worst show. It's so terrible, it's so awful, but I just can't get into it I, i'm not sure why i feel like the emotional connection maybe isn't there but it definitely seems like it's lacking something and i i don't know what it is all i can say is that it doesn't have that star wars magic and i want to like the show i really do like i i want to like it it's it's kenobi and we got hayden christensen back and ewan mcgregor's back it, it, james earl jones came back to voice fader it's all there but it's not i don't even know what to say <sighs> I guess that's just kind of where I'm at. I'm feeling a little defeated. Uh, really, I can't tell you how much I was looking forward to Vader and Kenobi meeting and the emotions that were going to be there when Kenobi finally sees Vader and the epic, epic, epic moment when they finally clash lightsabers again. And I'll be honest with you, the whole thing felt completely clunky and emotionless to me. I don't know what they need to do when it comes to bringing a little bit more emotion into the show. But for me, as a prequel kid, I mean, I left this story in 2005. It's now 2022, 17 years later. I feel like I should be crying when I'm seeing this, and I just don't feel any emotional connection to it whatsoever. It feels kind of vapid. It feels dry. Uh, and it feels pretty clunky to me. Um, there was some good symbolism in there, I think, when it came to him putting him in the fire. But it just didn't resonate. It didn't hit, dude. And that's kind of the theme for the show for me is that all this stuff has good intentions. All this stuff has promising aspects of it. And there is good if you want to dig to find it. But I can't really, I, this is one I can't justify where I would say, you know, just don't even think about the bad. Just think about the good and enjoy it. I can't put myself in that position. This story is too important to me. There's too much that I care about with these characters for me to just kind of shove the bad stuff under the rug. So am I a salty Star Wars fan? Well, I always have been and I always will be. I think we all are a little bit regarding certain things, but this one, it's not doing it for me. We're halfway through and I'm not really stoked on it. So I guess we'll see what they do with the next few episodes. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing watch parties at midnight. I, I slept through one last night, so. We'll see what happens, but I gotta speak my truth. I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta be honest with myself. Right now, Kenobi is not a win for me. And that's all I got to say about that. Wish I could have given you a fun-filled, positive, super happy video today, but that's not where I'm at. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one.